Yes, welcome to my short video, dear ladies and gentlemen who are learning Bachelor of Arts degree, University of Jayadanapura. Uh, now I am discussing one poem prescribed for third year, final year. It is from Kamala Das, The Dance of the Eunice. Kamala Das, The Dance of the Eunice. Eunice are also humans. They are transsexual humans, which is a big problem in India. It's a crucial crisis in India because there are so many units. They have groups. They have societies. Uh, in Western countries, it's also so. So, the writer uh, speaks of that unspoken side. People in Eastern world if not uh, Asian region, are uh, refrained from speaking of that subject matter. Actually, this uh, group of humans become units because of their genus mutation, but not uh, their own error. So we have to show our sympathy to them, right? They should receive our sympathy and compassion. But here, the poet shows how far they are right behaving to get the public attraction right the dance of units a group of units if not transsexual humans they are dancing in a town in india kamala das looks at that it was hot so hot before the units came it is uh, environmental hot hmm? the poet speaks that it is a hot day to dance wide skirts they are bi biologically they are sometimes males but they wear female attire wide skirts going round and round symbols now the poet creates a picture of eunice dancing richly clashing and anklets jingling jingling they are jingling they are bells they are symbols they are also jingling while they are dancing Jingling. Beneath the fiery uh, gulma, gulma is a type of a tree like banyan tree under or palmyra tree under the sorry, uh, the uh, flamboyant tree under tree they are dancing with long braids flying, dark eyes flashing. They dance and they dance or they dance till they bled, till bleeding they were dancing. They want to perform their dance to. Uh, attract public eye towards them they do so but what happens is that people reject them sometimes they attack them sometimes they kill them hmm? we have to look at them as humans uh, they have a green tattoos on their cheeks they are they have their identity with tattoo also uh, jasmines in their hair. Normally, in India, girls wear jasmines, especially Hindu girls wear jasmines. But here, uh, transsexuals are transgender. They are uh, behaving like females. That's why they wear flowers, jasmine in their hair. Some were dark and some were almost fair. Their voices were harsh. Though they are uh, behaving as we are in dresses and talking as females. They are actually thing is that they are men, voices therefore harsh. Songs melancholy. Their songs are melancholy because a sad tone. Hmm. They sang about lovers dying now. Dying lovers. That means some lovers commit suicide, some lovers hmm, are killed because India is a country with so many violence, right? And children left unborn. The poet here, the poet tells that those uh, units are singing songs about unborn children. That means abortions in India. There are many centers which they commit abortions. Uh, some some beat their drums. Some beat their drums. There are, there are so many people here. The group. As a group, they have come to that town and dancing under a tree while singing. 
some beat their drums others beat their sorry breast now, others are beating their sorry breast because they are men you know as i said many are males but behaving like females their breasts are sorry breast sorry breast mean breast can't produce uh, breast milk can't lactate so that the poet uh, says that their breasts are sorry breasts they write beat their sorry breasts and wail then write in vacant ecstasy they wail then write the poet uh, speaks of the actual behavior they have no social compassion nobody looks at them with human eye instead of that people attack them ridicule them chase them away when they come to men they were thin there were thin limbs and dry like half burnt logs their legs are like half burnt logs from funeral pyres in a cemetery right they are not um, females you know they are not smooth legs are not smooth rough a draft and a rottenness were in each of them in each of them it is rottenness even the crows were so silent on trees crows on the trees are silent even birds understand their tragedy this is an extremely pathetic situation lugubrious right this a uh, social tragedy uh, that is not uh, answered on the side of the ruling system there should be a center for them to pay heed to their grievances they have to keep their grievances stricken inside their minds and remain unspoken while receiving right uh, embarrassment and some abusive words from the society even other people uh, throw them abusive words all were watching these poor creatures convulsions ah yes uh, sorry silent on trees and the children white died still children are looking at them white died because they are dancing uh, non-stop dancing till bleeding it's uh, also violent can't afford other humans can't dance like that because they are half human so they want to win others attraction uh, all were watching these poor creatures convulsions the poet uses them as poor creatures actually they are poor they have no their kid thinking in childhood itself they have sometimes chased away them Sri Lanka, there is a film that made by Ranjan Ramanayak regarding this. Name is, I think, Maya. That film speaks this story. The only story that speaks of that reality is that others don't, uh, others remain unspoken because they think that it is an antisocial matter. <clears throat> the sky uh, cracked, crackled, then thunder came and lightning and rain even nature understood their tragedy and it uh, started raining right meager rain and smelt of a dust in attics and the urine of lizard and mice that meager rain small sour pelting right it was pelting because uh, nature understood their tragedy what nature can do is small thing that uh, cool down their temperature because environment is very hot and they were dancing they were bleeding like abnormal dance till they bled like people were looking at them so uh, we understand that the poet wants to speak about this uh, very innocent human group they are transgender their sexuality or gender identity is not uh, confirmed uh, that is not their own uh, mistake their own error not uh, either their parents error that is some uh, genus mutation therefore the world have to the world has to right look at them with human eyes we have to stretch our humanity towards them the poet invites the world not to condemn them not to look down upon them 
but to treat them as equal humans right in this manner the poet speaks about one unspoken side that means themes are then this transgender society mm, humanity right absence of unity for them like that okay then uh, what are the techniques here the poet uh, repetition mm, hyperbole right uh, metaphor mm, personification right like that if you think it you can find many things assonance and consonance are also techniques but uh, for third year you do, don't want to write technique techniques like that you ask questions in a different way in future i will uh, discuss past papers also uh, when doing that i will explain more and more right thank you for the listening goodbye